This is a tutorial video that will guide you through the whole process of operating Share 202S Pro V2 on your first flight. This is the Share 202S Pro V2. The focal length of the down view lens is 40mm. The focal length of oblique lenses is 56mm. The shortest focus distance is 60m. 210 megapixels in total. Weight, about 1300 gram. We can see there are three screws on the side of the angle adjuster. And they correspondingly represent the angle of sharing port for 16 degrees and 4 degrees. Sharing port for 12 degrees and 0 degrees, and individual port for 8 degrees. There are four numbers on the front, and they are 4, 8, 12, and 16. We will fly at a speed of 12 meters per second in this project. So we need to adjust the mechanism to 12 degrees. Firstly move the connection ring to 12 degrees. And tighten the screws and fix it at the same time. Install the storage module with the side with triangle facing to the sky. And plug it into the camera to make sure the camera can be turned on properly. After finishing these settings, we can install the camera onto M300. Connect the port with the M300 gimbal and make the two red dots align with each other. Next, we prepare the remote controller. Adjust the antennas. Press the power button once and then press the power button once for a few seconds to turn on the remote controller. Do the same action to turn on the M300 drone. And when the drone is powered on, the camera will be automatically turned on. Click Pilot and click Flight to manage flight route planning. Click Create a Flight as we have 5 view angles on our oblique camera. So we choose Mapping here in the app. Tapping the Surveying Range. Change the Mission Name. Select the camera model and customize it. To fill in Share 202S Pro V2's parameters. Put in image resolution as 7952 pixel asterisk 5304 pixel. Sensor size is 35.9 mm asterisk 24 mm. The focal length is 40 mm. The smallest shooting interval is 1.2 second. Click finish. After creating the camera, put in flight height according to the required height of the mission need. We recommend the flight speed as 8 to 15 meter per second. Turn to advanced settings. Fill in the side overlap ratio of 70% and frontal overlap ratio is 80%. This setting will meet most of your mission requirements. Set the margin the same as your flight height so as to guarantee the precision of the survey range's edge. For now, we can only set it to 100 meters. The photo mode setup. We recommend the mode of distance interval shot. Click the save button to save your flight route settings. View from the Nadir view real-time data transmission. We can see the camera shutter speed and ISO. Click the setting button of three points on the upper right corner. Turn on the display real-time data. And then there will be a block on the screen showing camera information and you can check the camera status here on pilot. Click confirm and the camera can be automatically fixed. Turning on the next switch and you can manually turn on or off the camera on the pilot. Next is the shutter speed adjustment we recommend setting it to 1 out of 1000 on sunny days. 1 out of 800 on cloudy days. 1 out of 1250 under strong light. The next switch is to turn on orthography mode and once turn it on, only the nadir lens will be turned on to capture data. Next is the testing mode turn it on to automatically test the camera's photography function. After all camera parameters are set down we are going to set RTK. Turn on RTK positioning and select RTK service type according to your project needs. 
Click setting and it will connect RTK automatically. When the RTK status shows a fixed solution, you can carry out your mission. Click remote controller parameter to change the max altitude and set it equaling or higher than the mission height. Click obstacle avoid and turn it on. Click remote controller to check the remote sensing mode. Click live view data transmission. Check battery setting and status. Finishing all settings and check, we can start our mission now. Check the drone before flying first check whether frame arms are locked tightly. Are the landing gears tightened? Is the camera installed properly? Then check the battery locker. Then take a picture manually via the remote controller. Check the camera display and camera information on the, the remote control interface. Check if it shows the same photo numbers shot as that on camera display. Check if the camera display shows 50 after RTK at the same time, and the fixed solution is displayed on the DJI pilot interface. After finishing all the checklist, click upload mission and confirm all the parameters to start the mission. During the project carrying out, we must always pay attention to the flight status of the drone and the camera's photographing status to ensure the mission safety, flying speed, height, and wind speed. When the aircraft returns with low battery power to replace the battery, the drone supports hot swapping for battery replacement. We don't need to turn the drone off, and firstly take off one battery, and install one fully powered. Then take off the second one, and exchange it with a fully powered on. Check the drone again and act continue on remote controller and upload flight mission to carry out the rest of your mission. After the mission is finished, we need to check the camera info window on pilot. To see if the photo number kept the same as it on camera display screen, make sure it's right. And we can take off the camera from the drone. Disassembly the drone and collect in the carrying case. Our mission is finished.